Hi, uh, Roger, Roger. This is KC9VKV. Uh, could you come back with your uh, uh, identity of your station, please? Yes, Jim. Uh, KC9VKV, W9VFW. And uh, this is the Vermilion County War Museum. Vermilion County War Museum in uh, Danville. Over, over. Uh, Roger, Roger. And that would be uh, why the call W9VFW, uh, Roger. Roger, Roger. Uh, well, is the uh, station set up in the uh, VFW? Uh, no. Oh, no. This is a museum independent of the VFW and uh, all the other veterans' uh, uh, organizations. Uh, it just, uh, the first call sign we got, of course, was uh, <laughs> a mouthful. And so uh, I had to get something better. And, and, uh, and all of a sudden, uh, I found this one. I thought, well, it's kind of appropriate, so let's take it. Oh, Roger, Roger, sir. Um, and uh, so uh, you are a museum, a war museum, is that correct? Yes, sir, that's correct. Uh, opened in uh, the fall of 1999, and we're uh, residing in the former uh, Carnegie Library building. Uh, over. Uh, Roger that. And uh, what kind of uh, items do you have uh, on display, sir? Roger, Roger. About uh, how many items uh, do you have on display in a, in a round number? Well, okay. We never counted them, but uh, a couple of years ago I had some volunteers, teenager volunteers, uh, that wanted to do that. So I gave them that assignment. <laughs> and uh, they said they quit counting at around 64,000. Over to mm. 64,000 items. Uh, and is this, um, is this housed on uh, one floor, or are there multiple floors involved here? Well, again, yeah, this is the original uh, Carnegie Library. Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't think there were more than two, uh, two floors in, in uh, any uh, Carnegie building. This is actually one of the larger ones, I've been told, uh, square footage-wise, uh, around uh, 14,000 square feet uh, or Boy, that's a big space there. Uh, and uh, do you have uh, bunches of people every day, or, or what? How's the uh, tourist uh, or the uh, visitor uh, uh, log look like? Yeah, KC9 BKV, uh, W9 BFW. Uh, well, it varies uh, all the way from uh, zero on up to uh, count all your <laughs> your fingers and toes, etc., etc. Uh, it. Uh, it there's no rhyme or reason sometimes. Uh, uh, so far today, I think we have one. Yesterday, we had uh, oh, about uh, about 30. And uh, and, I, and uh, uh, no uh, uh, no no forecasting. We had a family just uh, oh, when was it? Um, Tuesday. Yeah, I think it was Tuesday. Um, came here all the way from Australia. Believe it or not. Uh, over Oh, Roger, Roger, Australia. Boy, that is a, that's a long way to go there. And uh, is the uh, Radio Shack uh, in the uh, the museum? I forget if you uh, answered that or not. Uh, no, I did not answer that. It's uh, in a part of yeah, part of the museum. It's it is. I have it as a display here, and uh, because uh, the uh, the tuna uh, that we have here was actually used. Roger that, sir. Okay. Um, go to 
YouTube and um, and then uh, do a search for uh, last voice from Kuwait. Last voice from Kuwait. And I think the first item that pops up on uh, YouTube is going to be a story about the uh, ham radio and how uh, uh, how ham radio made it through with uh, communications uh, when uh, uh, when Iraq was uh, occupying Kuwait and how the information got to uh, our State Department, our military, and our news and our news uh, 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 team. Uh, back to you. Uh, Roger, Jim, uh, and uh, we also are, have a YouTube page uh, called uh, Jim Ferguson's Radio Story, where we uh, celebrate uh, 50 years of commercial broadcasting. We've got about uh, 450 segments, and we've just started a new uh, series called uh, QSO Vlog, which is uh, deals with amateur radio, and we've got about uh, 30 uh, of those segments uh, completed thus far, covering all different aspects of amateur radio. So uh, we'll probably be uh, posting this QSO, sir, uh, if you would like to uh, check it out on YouTube. Uh, if you go to YouTube and do a um, call letter search, uh, Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor. That's uh, Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor, that will bring up the uh, QSO Vlog section of the um, uh, uh, radio story, and uh, we'll have this uh, posted uh, probably uh, tomorrow or so. Roger. Okay. <laughs> uh, we'll uh, we'll definitely check it out, and uh, whatever you want to uh, put on there uh, uh, in the way of uh, uh, transmissions from this station is uh, perfectly fine. Um, and uh, uh, I, oh, I wanted to tell you that uh, uh, additional additional displays here. Uh, uh, we've got a lot of uh, radio equipment from uh, uh, World War II and Korea and Vietnam and whatnot. A lot of Collins stuff. Uh, we've got uh, uh, a rack a rack of uh, radio equipment off of a uh, aircraft carrier. Uh, uh, Korean War. Uh, vintage aircraft carrier, and um, to on and on and on and on. Uh, back to you. Oh, that's great. That's great. So, uh, how big is your um, your radio shack uh, in the uh, display, Roger? Well, uh, it's uh, it's also uh, it's in the same room as uh, um, other other displays. Uh, that particular room uh, uh, looks like about. Uh, Roger, Roger. Let's see now. If that's uh, each tile is about a foot, that's uh, eight by twenty some feet. Does that sound right? No, no. Each tile is about two feet, uh, or maybe a little more than two feet. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Roger, Roger. Okay, you have a, a fairly a large display. It sounds like. Uh, what uh, type of uh, radio are you running at the moment? Uh, this is a uh, Operation Desert Storm rig. Uh, a uh, Tentec Omni 6 Plus. Uh, and my research indicates that this radio, or radios like it, not this particular one maybe, but uh, radios like it were uh, were used in the uh, in the first Gulf War. Uh, over. Oh, Roger, Roger. And about uh, how much uh, power are you uh, generating, and and into what kind of antenna? Well, we got about 100 watts here out to a uh, a dipole. 40 meter dipole uh, on the roof of the building, and so the feed points uh, uh, 20, maybe 25 feet up. Uh, Roger, well, it's certainly getting out. Uh, I've got a, a real good signal, and a little bit of noise, but uh, uh, definitely it's uh, signals hanging in there for uh, 40 at this this time of the day. Well, I uh, really enjoyed the uh, QSO, sir, and I wish you a lot of luck on your uh, uh, your display there of uh, war uh, memorabilia, Roger. Roger, Roger, and Jim, you owe me the town that you are closest 
Roger. Uh, we are in uh, a town called New Albany, Indiana. We are in New Albany, Indiana, which is about three miles from downtown Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, there is the Ohio River that separates us. The Ohio River runs between uh, Louisville and uh, New Albany, Roger, about three miles. Oh, Roger, Roger, Jim. In fact, I've been there. <laughs> yes, I've been to New Albany and uh, uh, took, I don't know, I can't remember now how long, a week or two, two years ago, and followed the Ohio River on the north side of the river uh, from, uh, uh, let's see where, uh, <laughs> well, from someplace in Illinois, eastward. Uh, toward New Albany. In fact, I think uh, that was our last stop. Uh, or, or well, Roger, Roger, I feel uh, uh, proud to have been a, a stopping point uh, along your uh, your uh, tour uh, of the area. Roger, Roger. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And now it's your turn, Jim. Over. Well, uh, I have enjoyed it, sir, very much, and uh, I wish you luck on your endeavor there. Uh, how long have you uh, been uh, running uh, your uh, display, Roger? Roger that, roger that. Well, the facility here is a uh, homebrew uh, condenser microphone into an ART preamp into a third octave equalizer and then comes up to the uh, tabletop where we have a, a little remote control six position rotary switch that we can select the uh, radio that we're talking on and then a toggle uh, talk uh, key button and uh, then uh, into uh, a Yezu, an older Yezu 990 uh, then to the uh, SB220 and then up to a uh, 40 meter uh, dipole uh, inverted V, Roger. Okay, and is this uh, at your house, uh, over? Uh, Roger, Roger, and we've uh, kind of uh, created a uh, a uh, vlog studio uh, for our radio story uh, and this uh, like I say the QSO vlog is, is a new uh, segment series that we've uh, just started probably about uh, uh, three and a half months old now we've got about uh, 30 some odd segments done yeah okay very good very good by the way your signals here are uh, 20 plus over 9 you can believe these meters uh, Roger, Roger. Well, I tell you, um, I am doing a real special deal on the output of this receiver. Uh, I'm, I'm uh, running the receiver at just at the limit point, just barely at the uh, at the compression point on the AGC. So it's not compressing, but if a loud signal were to come along, it would it would uh, limit it. Uh, and then uh, the audio output of the receiver is going into uh, a DBX Type 1 noise reduction unit in the uh, decode mode. So uh, the residual uh, noise uh, with a, a really good signal is is uh, much uh, attenuated uh, as uh, you know the upper end high frequency doesn't open up until there is actually content to do so. Well, you're getting beyond me there, James. <laughs> yeah, getting a little bit beyond me, a couple of steps. Um, I'd have to. Uh, I had to consult with my oldest son uh, as to what the meaning of all that. <laughs> um, he's a ham too, by the way, uh, as well as my uh, third oldest son and my fourth oldest son and my oldest grandson. Mm. Well, anyway, it's all in the family. Well, look, uh, I'm going to let you go and maybe you can make some more contacts. And uh, nice, uh, nice chatting with you today. Um, I'll be headed. Uh, I'll be headed down your way in a week or so, on our way to uh, Florida. You know, 
Got to see Florida every year for a little while. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good, Jim. KC9VKV, W9BFW, over. Oh, Roger, Jim. Now, would you call your... Uh, your uh, memorabilia, would you call it um, a display, or, or how would you term that? Oh, definitely display, yeah. Typical, typical museum display, except that, um, oh, how do I explain it here? Uh, as far as the, the whole museum goes, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's a lot of hands-on. Uh, we're, uh, we're in the process right now, even though we've been here for almost, uh, what, almost 20 years. Uh, we've been in the process the last couple of years of trying to uh, uh, protect, that's a good word, uh, protect uh, the artifacts uh, from uh, fingers. And, uh, uh, but we still have an awful lot that, uh, uh, you know, helmets and, uh, and uh, life jackets and you know, just all kinds of things like that. Even, but now no weapons. No, we won't let the public touch the weapons. Um, but uh, yeah, we just we had uh, some people in yesterday, like I told you, and uh, uh, you know, I picked up a helmet off of a, uh, uh, a display and uh, put it on some of the kids' uh, heads. Um, some of the kids just had to uh, just had to have that helmet on their head, I and mean, others just had to not have that helmet on their head. <laughs> oh well, thank you. Oh, Roger, Jim. Well, we have some con inconsiderate people tuning up on the band, so um, I guess we'll uh, go ahead and wrap it up. But uh, we've enjoyed the QSO, sir. And uh, let me give you a frequency. Um, uh, you'll have to uh, check the uh, what the PL is. But uh, if you come through and you happen to have uh, 70 centimeters, uh, we usually hang out on 444-200. Uh, four, 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 two hundred, and I forget uh, at the moment what that uh, PL is, but I'm sure you could uh, you could find that uh, on the um, uh, Google that. Roger, Roger. Okay, okay, will do, will do. Uh, we'd be taking, <laughs> we're going to be taking my wife's new car, <laughs> and uh, I think I won't have too much trouble convincing her to put a mag antenna, mag mount antenna on the roof. It won't scratch. Oh, that's a Roger. Roger, Roger. All right. Well, we, like I say, we hang out there, and uh, gosh, I'd love to uh, talk to you as you pass through, sir. So uh, let me say threes, and we really enjoyed the QSO, and uh, like I say, we should have this uh, posted up uh, tomorrow sometime, and uh, just uh, go to YouTube and do a Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor search, and it'll bring up our QSO Vlogs. Roger, Roger, Jim. Three is that away. I enjoy the QSO. This is KC9BKV. Be clear.